you're watching this, I'm dead. flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you, Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? <laughs>
will be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. this I'm dead this is a code black this message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained I know what's coming won't be easy from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. Alfred. What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. There's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom? Oh, 
know. Nice work grabbing that drive from Langstrom's lab. Do we have it? Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for it. Whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. Move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. Stop it! He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. It's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on my stream. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. Damn it! We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. Langstrom's secret lab was kind of creepy, but also really cool. What about the quarry? Did you find anything interesting there? If by interesting you mean useless piles of rocks in an abandoned site, then yeah. That hard drive better give us some answers, or we'll be back to square one. Langstrom wouldn't have gone through all the trouble of encrypting the drive if it didn't contain something important. And with all of us on the case, I'm sure we could figure it out. We should be out there getting answers, not sitting around waiting. Damn it. Why did Bruce have to hide this from us? I should have known something was wrong. If he had just talked to me, maybe... 
Maybe he'd still be alive. Or maybe you'd be dead too. I guess we'll never know. Just promise me that if you do find something, you'll share it. We're a team, Jason. Yeah. Okay. Formulas, financial records, research into hearing loss, human experimentation and trials? That looks like cash payouts to volunteers. I recognize some of these jerks. They're all known gang members. So Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals. You're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who would consider the Belfry systems ancient. While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on... Our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. We sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well... Batman would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking. Yeah, I can double check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. You should also hit the streets, find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, expecting Bruce to call me for help. And then I remember. I thought it might have been one of you calling just now. I was worried. 
Old habits, I suppose. I get that way sometimes, too. You were always looking out for Bruce. We both were. It's hard to imagine a Robin without a Batman. But I guess it's up to me to figure that out. And I'll be here to support you. Gotham is in good hands. Talia, so you are still in Gotham. You've taken over the League of Shadows? I'm not their commander. They cast me out. You're the daughter of Raish al Ghul. He's dead, and you made sure that was permanent. Who else would get the job? My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the League, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, all the League can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. If Bruce was Raish's successor, why did Raish kill him? That, that doesn't make sense. I agree. It was an irrational win. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down the subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. Is that why you burned your dad's body after stabbing him? That looks like revenge to me. Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. But someone has closure. Does all this mean that you're done with Gotham? I have other matters to attend to. The funeral was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. I think Bruce would rather still be alive, and you didn't answer my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cow break into the morgue? I know you weren't following me. Call it part of an ongoing investigation. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. So Harley contacted Batman using, I don't know, a homing pigeon and a USB drive? And that's how we got this video? Help. Do we think it's legit? Bruce never talked to me about it. When Bruce worked with criminals, he didn't exactly keep us in the loop. Yeah, it's not you, Tim. But it's also not crazy to think that Harley made this up. Just play it. And we'll know. Gotham ever since, you know, her ex killed me. Isn't that what you meant? Rumor has it she did some government thing, went straight ish. She's got something. And we go find Harley. Now. Yeah. 
bird brain. I heard about you. The latest boy wonder. Aren't you supposed to be all smart and junk? Thanks. I've heard a lot about you too. Uh-huh. Was it too much to ask you to visit earlier? Batman had you working on something. I need to know what. Wait a second. This means the bats is dead. For real. Well then. He asked me to profile some criminals. On account of my being a brilliant psychiatrist. I read your old papers. It's kind of a shame you turned criminal. Hey! I am not a criminal! I'm misunderstood. Right. So, what were you doing for Batman then? Everything is in this book. But I'm missing my peace de resistance. I need you to follow up on this here card. That'll make it perfect. From card catalog? Where's the other half? It should be down at records. Okay. Bye. <clears throat> ah? You're back. Blackgate really needs to go digital. I get that you're Harley Quinn, but you could have just handed it to me. Charlie's been busy. Where do we even start with this? Hmm. Playing with a ghost, Alfred? You might say that. I'm finishing my last game with Bruce. I couldn't save our board from the manor, but I do have our notes. We tracked each move. To continue the game, if one of us was ever... 
away. Are you winning? Playing as Bruce, I can't see how he loses. Bruce is dead. Maybe he wins your game, but without him, we've lost. I'm not so sure about that. Not so sure he's dead? Not so sure we've lost. Bruce played an important role. But he never saw himself as the only piece in play. Thinking about what happened at Blackgate, Master Tim? We should have known Harley would try something. Now she's off to do... Harley stuff. She hasn't left any other messages or maps. Do you have any leads on where she might have gone? Not yet, but she's worked with the freaks before. Maybe they know something? A good place to start, then. profiled some seriously antisocial prisoners here. Look, something's going on at Blackgate. We lean on that warden, we're set. No, these records go back centuries, man. The warden's new. Now she's involved. How did I miss this? Oh, right. Harley's stupid system makes no sense. Babs, what did you figure out? They all got out on appeal. That's what Harley was tracking. In every case, key witnesses were murdered. Look, they were all pinned up with knives, just like Langstrom. Bruce is onto something. Oh? I think I've got something. Oswald Cobblepot, the penguin. He's like everyone else in here, except he served his sentence every single time he was arrested. Someone must have hung him out to dry. Might be he's willing to talk. He runs the Iceberg Lounge now. Claims he went legit. <laughs> he definitely runs more than liquor through that bar. I wouldn't know. That man would never take me. <laughs> if you wanted a fake ID, Tim, all you had to do was ask. Oswald's dangerous. And we can't forget, Harley's still out there. We have to be careful. Relax, dick. We got this. That door's sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Sorry, forgot I had a door. But now that I'm here, smile. Viral video of you assaulting a reformed citizen is the last thing you need right now. Well then, do us both a favor. Tell me why you served your time when your friends didn't have to. Do you just like prison? Hmm. Someone's done that homework. I want to know who's handing out the get out of jail free cards. If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. That won't stop me. I'm gonna spell this out for you. With the back gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. It's... Penguin wouldn't talk to me. People still treat me like I'm just a sidekick. You may be surprised to learn Batman struggled with similar challenges early in his career. 
So for a time, he focused his energies elsewhere in the city. When word of his work got out, people were more inclined to cooperate. The city? We've been so focused on Batman's last case, we've let the rest of Gotham slide. Gotham may not know Batman is gone, but it certainly feels his absence. There has been a marked increase in gang-related crime. Along with whatever Penguin's really up to. Maybe if we interfere with his businesses and that of a few others, he'll feel more talkative. You've also received messages from Lucius Fox and Detective Montoya. They may be able to help. Thanks, Alfred. Guess it's time for this bat to spread his wings. Not only a bat, Master Tim. A robin. Encrypted message from Fox Tecker. It's Lucius. Sorry I've been a ghost since the funeral, but I just realized I forgot to send flowers. If you're ever in the neighborhood, let's meet in my building. I'd like to give you them in person. Duke Robin. Not the person I was expecting to meet, but I suppose Batman trusts you. He has good things to say about you, which is why I think we can make a good team. How can I help? Well, since we lost Gordon, some cops are back to playing dirty again. Kane doesn't like it, but she's not doing much to stop it either. I guess there will always be corruption in Gotham. I know Batman was helping Gordon clean up the force, but now any cops who used to be on Gordon's team are getting their asses handed to them. The gangs are ambushing them because they won't take bribes, and dispatchers are giving them the worst assignments because they make trouble for everyone else. And they won't stop until the good ones are all gone. Look, I hate to ask, but can you keep an eye on cops when they're facing off against the gangs? I know a lot of my fellow officers have issues with vigilantes, but they need the help. Batman wouldn't have made it this far without the help of good officers like you and Gordon. So I'll do it. And who knows? Maybe this will help us make more friends in the GCPD. Thanks. I'll try to get you some resources to help you protect everyone in Gotham, not just us. You can count on me. Heck of a view, huh, Mr. Fox? <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Did get an A on sneaking up on old guys. It doesn't feel like the same Gotham without Batman watching over it all. He always seemed like he was in five places at once. You're good in there. The bat doesn't fall far from the belfry. From what I've seen, anyway. Thanks, I think. Don't thank me yet. The mentor and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now. But no one's looking at Fox Tekka. As long as I got a breath between the guilds, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which... Is this the flowers? It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero. With this, the whole city will be at my fingertips. Now you can thank me. 
Thank you, Lucius. Come on over! That drone is a thing of beauty, Mr. Fox. I can't wait to try it. So, how does it work? You're getting ahead of yourself. Before you can use the bird, you'll have to clear a path for it. Dang it, I should have known there'd be a catch. Lately, the GCPD's not content to have jackboots on the ground. They've launched a network of surveillance drones to patrol the skies. If they're looking for you when you try to get airborne... I'll probably get shot down. What do I do? A creative programmer could convince those drones to overlook certain targets. But for that to work, close-up scans would be required. So if we can rewrite the drone's programming, I'll be a free bird, so to speak. The cops have the city divided into sectors, with a set of drones watching over each one. Until you scan all the drones in a sector, consider it a no-fly zone. Which means I'm grounded until the drones are taken care of. I'll send you the location of the first one so you can get to work. So you can use a gore after all. When the mood strikes me. Nation is important, especially at my age. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Good. Now do me a favor, boy, and fetch that bottle of space eye. You can watch me drink it while we talk. Every rich criminal I've looked into gets out of doing time at Blackgate. Why'd you serve yours? They were favored. I wasn't. Favored by who? But no one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> Yep. Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. But you're fine sending me there. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you. Pinned new information on the board. I do believe we have a guest. Is that a cat? How did a cat get past our security protocols? It wouldn't be the first cat to find its way past the bat's walls. Have you actually seen it? Not yet, but I suspect if we start leaving food out for him, we may find ourselves with a new addition to the Bat family. I wonder what cats like to eat. Maybe one of the others can pick up some food on patrol. A cat? In the Belfry. Huh. I'm going to read everything I can so it doesn't scratch me.
You know what? Using teleportation tech from the Justice League satellite, I... I bet I could zap myself short distances in a fight. Almost like a ghost. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so cool! Colonel Kane. Sergeant Pennyworth. I'm sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Work never seems to stop in this city. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? You said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful? As you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. Every day I find... You geezers escaped from the old folks' home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. Empty your pockets or I empty the gun. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Quite the about face. That punk didn't know who he was messing with. <laughs> Come inside. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Don't have to twist my arm. Let's not be long, though. I wouldn't want anyone to worry. Death has cleared the way for our new acquisition. Good. However, do try to be careful where you write them in, my dear. <laughs> As for that other issue... We've already bribed the Senators. I can assure your bill will pass over next month. Wonderful. <laughs> I am bored dealing with filth. I'm sorry, ma'am. We need to get you to safety. Cannot forgive your failure. You will atone with blood. 
Don't do this. I won't do anything. And you, Bernard, do not belong here. The last time an intruder set foot here was more than a century ago. The punishment for this insult remains the same. Did you know that Bruce was looking into the court? I didn't. There were few things he kept from me, but this was unfortunately one of them. For me too. We managed to log some voice recordings of the court, but they're difficult to make out. You sure? You just forget to play. Tim. You know, you weren't the first Robin kid. Or the second. A bunch of files got corrupted. I'll run some diagnostics, see what I can recover. Let's see if Master Bruce left us any more clues. Margie, the tattooed lady, would tell us stories about the court back at Haley's Circus. You used to say they were watching and they'd steal us away if we gave a bad performance. Always assumed it was just circus legend. Not at all. There are a number of references to the court in Gotham's history, but nothing concrete. I can't authenticate any of these sources. Supposedly some wingnut wrote a tell-all book about them. But it's a legend in and of itself, so... Shame, really. Such a work would have made a wonderful addition to the library. The earliest version of the court rhyme is from the 1700s. And says they're after the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> Seem pretty kill-happy for people who want eternal life. Those aren't mutually exclusive. There were a lot of bodies in that pit. And one of them was holding this. Might open something useful. Our scans revealed an isotope embedded in the metal. It definitely has a match. It's a key. So? Let's find the door. Give me that cooling. Did it hurt, Jason? <laughs> when I fell from heaven? When you came back to life, 
Did the Lazarus pit hurt? It changed me. Hey, Lazarus isn't gonna bring Bruce back, Tim. Who's to say he doesn't want us to try? I... Okay. Bruce isn't this bike. You can't just change everything out and expect things to work like they did. Then what am I supposed to do? Try grieving. Welcome back. Had a good time rubbing elbows with the beautiful people. It was... enlightening. So, what do you want? Straight to the point. I like that about you. So, how's about a little partnership? I'm too young to run a bar. And I don't have a fake ID either. <laughs> you misunderstand me, friend. As the owner of a respected establishment, I have an interest in keeping the streets safe. You could help. What's your angle? Are you hoping I'll take out some of your competitors in the process? Uh, I'm not in the crime business anymore. So if I came across any unusual gear, I'd be obliged to turn it over. Upstanding citizen that I am. You're lucky they're criminals. Or I wouldn't even consider it. Well, that's the spirit. for anything. I'm in, Belfry. It's spooky in here. Like a lair. No sign of anyone. Strange location for it. Any indication of what they were doing there? Moreno? I feel like I know that name. Belfry, we have an open case file on the Moreno murder. Can you look it up? Of course. The brother of Elena Moreno, a local judge. She took a leave of absence from the bench directly afterward for family reasons. It was the Court of Owls. I'm going to look around for more information.
I think I'm just about done with talons, thank you. of Al's is watching from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow and they rule you one and all. The nursery rhyme was scary enough. How long have you known the court's real, Talia? When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining an element called Dionysium. Its makeup is similar to Lazarus Pit samples. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. The Talons. So they're using Dionysium to make soldiers. I wonder why the League doesn't give the court the good stuff. They would probably pay a lot for a Lazarus pit. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. I mean, the League creates monsters too. Look at your father. Oh, those are some harsh words. Would you say your friend Jason is a monster as well? Of course that was you. Jason never asked you to bring him back like that, Talia. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. You wouldn't dare use the word gratitude if you knew what he's been through. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. So if we take down the court, the League will just let Gotham be? <laughs> Without Batman, everyone's making their moves. I'm just wondering what yours is. I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Hey Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Hmm. Give this a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon, exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie? Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words. 
Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade. The event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich dress up and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is... was... a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago, to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy... if you want to call it that... is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up. Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. Really, Miss Pleasure to present our host, 
for the evening. Host? In an hour mask? Ten dollars says that's the voice of the court. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brass defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now. Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. Pleases the court. Excellent. I'll see you downstairs. Destroy Gotham. Now we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You talk like you weren't just another villain, hiding behind a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask is you. Tim. Jacob Kane? How, how? How do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just... Our court is quiet about it. The people of Gotham aren't puppets. When they find out you're pulling their strings, they're not gonna like it. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends. The same enemies. It's... Madness, you're not serving us. Except Robin doesn't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. For protectors of Gotham, you sure murder a lot of your friends. Kurt Langstrom, his assistant? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his fortune to fight for this city. You fight for yourself. He never would have stood for this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. I'm nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Lanks.
Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. The slaughter of some of our best and brightest at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone, even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel, by the way. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old Lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. So your League of Shadows has arrived. You should have warned us, Talia. Does this look like my League? Did they decapitate the court? Did you? I think the voice survived. He seemed well protected. Then the League will keep attacking, regardless of collateral damage. And the court will fight back with more talents. How many more people are gonna die caught in between? Countless. The League will decimate the city. And the court is preparing something even more impressive. What do you know? Langstrom wrote that living subjects could create more powerful talents. I don't want to be around when they get out. If Langstrom was so useful, why did the court kill him? As much as I've liked our chance, Gotham is getting decidedly unfriendly. Don't come looking for me. I was wondering when you'd show up. I wanted to give you time to look at all the files I sent. Some pretty serious shit here. A secret society that controls Gotham? With Jacob Kane at the head? Murder. Conspiracy. This one's gone at all. I'd say you were off your game. If it didn't make so much damn sense. I've seen so many shady things over the years, and this... <sighs> explains every single one of them. I assume Kane has a lot of connections. Too many corrupt cops on the force for me to just arrest him. If I had someone I could actually trust on the case, might be able to get some solid evidence. Give me some time, and I'll tell you exactly who you can trust.
I know it ain't worth much to say this, but it was either you or me. And frankly, <laughs> it'll always be me. Talons, the labyrinth, all punishment for exposing the court. Hmm. To think Jacob Kane ever thought we could be on the same side. The labyrinth wasn't just meant to kill us. The court wanted to get in our heads. It might have worked. We'll be okay, Tim. Will we? Batman didn't kill people, but where would he stand on soldiers lining up to be reborn as these monsters? I used to be dead. You think I'm a monster? We have one setback. And this is where you go, Tim? Murder? I get steering him away from killing people, but the labyrinth was more than a setback, Babs. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You're not Bruce. None of you are. Enough! Gotham practically lined up to kill Batman. Every time Bruce came home, bloodied, near death, I patched him up. Just as I now do for you. He was often angry, but he never stooped to their level. Alfred's right. Batman had a code. No matter how tough this gets, we can't betray it. The court is made up of Gotham's founding families. They'll protect their own like only family will. They may be related, but they aren't family. Not like we are. The evidence we uncovered against Kane at the hotel is pretty much bulletproof. Then our best course of action isn't war, it's prosecution. I don't think Kane's gonna honor a warrant. He will if we help the cops serve it. The same cops currently gunning for every cape in Gotham? I can think of at least one still on our side. This is it. Alfred's playing right into Robin's trap.
made in two. Wait, how how do you? An old way. It's how Alfred wins. Teach me. Robin must discover his own way to win. Robin thinks that sounds way harder. things from us, Drake? Maybe it's drugs. Or plutonium. I mean, he is a teenager. A chess set. That looks familiar. Aren't those Bruce's? Yep. Custom made. The knights even have bad ears. Would you look at that? They do have bad ears. I got them from Wayne Manor. I know it's dangerous, but I was careful and no one saw me. That's a big risk for a chess set. Everything we salvaged from the manor belonged to Batman. I thought we could use a bit more Bruce. Clayface fell in a turbine when he last fought Batman. How's he still alive? I'm not sure. He was torn to shreds. And yet, here we are. Guess getting blended like a smoothie wasn't enough for him. So, what did we learn about our new friend? Well, I've studied Clayface's DNA before, and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. The structure's constantly changing. It's, it's like it can't reassemble itself. We're talking damaged nucleotides, unstable phosphate groupings, and synthesis abnormalities. I mean, abnormal even for Clayface. This sample seems especially disorganized, like, like it's trying to be five things at once. Oh, maybe it's because these pieces of him on their own aren't enough for him to stabilize into a singular conscious entity. <clears throat> you guys are doing your nerd thing again. Sorry. Clayface might be in too many places at once, and he's having trouble being anything because of it. But the more that Clayface comes together, the stronger and smarter he gets. We definitely do not want that. Well, what if he's already conscious? I mean, we can't just leave him like this. Putting him back together could endanger the whole city. We can't take that chance. Either way, it doesn't do us any good if we don't know where he is. The reservoir is connected to the city's aqueduct system. He could be anywhere. There are probably still bits of him in the water, too. It's nice knowing you, Jason. <laughs> He'll be fine. Probably. I'll scan the city for the Clay's unique signature. I'll let you all know if I find something. Yeah, have fun with that. Is the blindfold really necessary? Not anymore. Glad you could make it. 
Welcome to the Belfry. You're back, girl. Did your father know? If he did, he never said. But now you know. If you're gonna help us take down Jacob Kane, we need to trust each other. Dick Grayson. Well, I guess you're Nightwing, then. Is it that obvious? It's pretty obvious. You don't even, like, do a voice or anything. Robin. I don't think we've met out of costume. Actually, we've met. Like, five times. Oh, yeah. Tim Drake, right? We done laying our cards on the table? We got a plan to go over. Jason Todd. The dead walk among us. I get that a lot. You get what we needed? The judge actually signed off on the Jacob Kane charge. Conspiracy to murder Langstrom. Some solid detective work. If you could get Kane out of that hidey hole, I can make sure every honest cop in Gotham is waiting out front. <laughs> but that won't be easy. This building is basically a tank. Oh, we know. Armored facade, anti-aircraft guns on the roof. That's why we have drones. I assume you don't have a permit for that. We absolutely do not. Gotta admit, Pennyworth, I was kind of hoping you were Batman and just retired or something. Hmm. While I'm flattered, the truth is unfortunately more grim. I'm sorry to hear that. So, about that plan. The plan? Yes. You're gonna love it. To start, you'll rendezvous at the rally point in sight of the target, Kane Industries. You're doing what Bruce did. Fumbling in the dark, thinking you know what's best for Gotham, but you're fighting the wrong battle. League of Shadows of Fanatics will slaughter half the city to purify it. So you're building an army to fight the League? To save Gotham from itself. Gotham needs hunters, our new knights. They thrive in the shadows like Bruce did, like you do. But unlike you, they know their place. <laughs> submarines. I don't want to hurt you any more than I have to. <laughs> I gave you a chance back at the orchard, but you failed me like you failed Bruce. Any other Robin wouldn't have got him killed. <laughs> Gotham won't accept the court as real. Let alone believe I'm the voice. No one has to. They just have to believe that you killed Lane's. And what if I did? Huh? Where's the reporter who'll cover it? Or the cop who'll arrest me? 
Much less the judge who'll convict me. They're waiting outside, actually. Well, maybe not the judge. My wife is still the commissioner. I'll be free before sunup. Jacob Kane, mostly in one piece. <laughs> Working with vigilantes, detective. Cattle will have your badge for this. Hell of a trade if it puts you away. Say another word. I can Jacob! Jacob! You stupid, stupid. We need to get these people out of here. Find who did this. Search everywhere. Search the rooftops. Go! for his crimes and you murdered him no we murdered him the league of shadows thanks you for your collaboration bruce was never this helpful <sighs> so you did take over the league this must have taken years to orchestrate decades i have a clarity of vision that my father lacked Without him, the League can reach its full potential. I'm surprised you didn't kill Race yourself. I didn't need to. So, you got everything you wanted. I guess that means the League leaves Gotham forever, right? The Orchard Hotel was just the beginning. Our work in Gotham will serve as a beacon, a warning of what is to come. In a torrent of blood, we will purge corruption from this city, then the world. A torrent of blood? Doesn't sound like balance. It's actually kind of the opposite. Then I won't waste your time. I've only let you live this long because you were useful. I suppose every pawn is sacrificed, eventually. I am not your pawn! And neither was Bruce. In this game you're playing, it ends now. Even Bruce would tell you. Nothing can stop the reckoning that's in motion. Farewell. Okay.
Knew we couldn't trust her. We had Jacob in custody. We were finally gonna bring him in. And now, she's got everything she needs to start the next phase of her plan. She'll go after our allies first, to keep us out of the way. Exactly. That's why I already sent them a warning. Lucius is holing up in a secure location with a small security team. And Montoya is scrambling people she trusts. It won't be enough. They'll die without our help. League attacks. All over the city. It's already started. I've scoured all of my networks. No sign of Talia anywhere. The League is still in Galtha. She's here. Just have to find her. Not damn ninjas. So... This is weird. Weird like undead talons coming back to life, or weird like... How do I keep losing this freaking game? Weird like there was this reroute situation that I was tracking. But then there were fluctuations, and now... I think I found Talia. What were you tracking? At first it looked like nothing, but now... Whoa. That's a lot of power that's been siphoned. Not necessarily definitive, except... Except? The power was diverted... here. Is an Arkham empty? Like, you know... <laughs> collapsed? It has been for a couple of years. And with our missing ninja friend... Here. She's only been there for a few weeks. Maybe it won't be too bad. Or... this is a trap. She's too good to just let us find her. But we have a lead. We do have a lead. Yeah. Talia wasn't here just to mess with us. She's got something else up her sleeve. Well, guess it's time to go back to that asbestos-encrusted shithole. Looks like you have me in five. <laughs> I'll get you next time, though. Bruce's chess set. I carved these pieces myself. I even gave the knights bat ears. I noticed. Jason wasn't having the best game, huh? I promoted a queen, and was about to walk all over him. I don't pick a queen when I promote a pawn. I suppose you choose a knight then. That was always Bruce's move. A little obvious, even for him. I like the rook, actually. It's a protector, and a major piece. But people ignore it. They get distracted by more obvious threats until... Checkmate. Plus, castling is basically teleporting. How unorthodox. It's how Robin wins. <laughs> they were using this to run sonic tests on the volunteers. Hold on. Uh, that sound came from the lab. Belfry here. We've run the data. Then you've seen what I've seen. Talia has a Lazarus pit. Langstrom walked so she could run. Precisely, but where is the Lazarus pit? It must be close. Like, under Gotham close. The tank! Oh no. Thank <laughs> you.
keep them en route. Go! Alfred? How did I... You know... You really should not be fighting with those injuries. <sighs> Chaos in Gotham City tonight after another vicious attack in Robinson Park. There are reports across the city of flying creatures wreaking havoc. Police are urging citizens to stay calm and remain indoors. That's my fight out there! The others are already on patrol. Once you are ready... I'm ready. I proved myself the moment you met me. When I figured out Bruce's identity. And Dick's too. I learned how to be a hero by serving at a hero's side. I was the Robin that Batman needed. After everything that's happened... I've become the Robin I need to be. I'm certain you already know what must be done. Tali is hiding a Lazarus pit somewhere under this city. She thinks she's about to win. I can't wait to disappoint her. dinner ready an hour ago. How many versions of this are you gonna make? Let me check. In the event of my death at the hands of Crazy Quilt? Seriously? What about the event of my death? Of starvation? Hear that? You're neglecting this poor kid. You promised we'd have dinner together as a family. You guys start, and I'll be right on. Oops. My hand slipped. But now you're up, so let's go. This is important. Would you just go? Or is I forgot to eat and starve to death on your list of videos? I mean, if you want some advice on being dead, I got you covered. Oh, this is gonna be good. You're gonna need my password. Am not.
experiment's over, shut down. Call it ethical reasons. Did you know, child? A Lazarus pit can be used for more than just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus pit can make a mind more malleable, more pliable into suggestion. So you made an army of zombies. Is that the plan? Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. I like my brain the way it is. Thanks. <laughs> you, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I've finally solved that problem. Exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory, remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright.
Damn it, Bruce! Bruce! Are you in there? Bruce! Your Uncle Jacob is the leader. Well, was. The court's at war with the League. And since Raish is dead, Talia took over. She's been throwing you in the pit and pulling you back out to wear you down. Wait! You found the Court of Owls. You'd be so proud of us, Bruce. We're working so well as a team. <coughs> No, 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 no! Don't give in! That's what she wants! This pretender pulls you away from me. Come back to me, beloved. Yes! Good! Stay away from him! Bruce! After all I've done, you are to be my champion, not his! <laughs> Can't die again. Gotham's not ready. You're ready. You were always smarter than me, Robin. by a parliament of owls. Oh no. The fault is with you, Talia, our ghoul. Your abomination led us here. And now you and it will die. <laughs> you will never bring death to an owl ghoul.
A new voice, huh? That didn't take long. Take heart. Your death has purpose. You die, so the court lives forever. There is no time where I let you get a Lazarus pit. Go! Deal with that pain. Without me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run. the Lazarus pit. Now that it's gone, the Court of Owls has mostly vanished. Without a shot at immortality, they know they're vulnerable. They'll lay low and regroup. Talia is also nowhere to be found. She's hiding somewhere and planning her next move. She left behind a small team of League assassins. I don't know if they're here to watch us or keep us busy. No, and Talia, it's both. We've found the wreckage of the Batwing. He's... He's gone. Gotham City still needs me. The court will act like nothing happened. But I'm still watching. And I'll make sure they know. Bringing Jacob Kane's crimes to light was just the start.
The Court of Owls is at war with the city and its people. And they're not about to stop. But they are done, hiding inside Gotham's walls. Because when I find them, they'll have nowhere to hide. People of Gotham, I know you won't let fear control your lives. And I am giving you my word that you will never have to.